takes us to the valedictorian of the class of 2022. January 2017. <laughs> Application form. He was 11. He's turning 12 in summer. I believe your birthday's in July. Is that correct? Yeah. So he turned 12 in the summer before he came to the school to <coughs> join the seventh grade. That in the summer of 2017. Yes, count the years, you'll notice something happened there. Let me read a couple of things from his application. I know kids get really embarrassed about this. I know you all would if I took your applications out. I've done that before. But listen carefully. I heard that high school friendships are among the most beautiful and that they are meant to last. He's 11. My main focus is on performance. <laughs> so I intend to acquire new knowledge and expand my horizons. This implies improving my skills in all areas and focusing on personal development. To be more specific, I intend to read more and be better in writing and English. <laughs> and another thing, I want to focus, what I want to focus on is how to become a better person. I know studying is very important. But I also want to make sure I get to spend quality time with my family and friends. I would like to become more responsible and learn how to manage my time. That being said, I will do my best to be a good student and a better son, brother, and friend. 11, 11 years old. He went through, there he is again. He went through seventh grade straight A's, no problem whatsoever. He jumped over 8th grade, that's why the dates don't make sense. Skipped 8 all together and went to 9th grade, started earning credits in 9th grade for high school. Which means, of course, if you do the math a little bit, Andy is very young for this class. He's not just young, if he were in the right age for this class and didn't skip a grade, he would still be one of the youngest in the class. Put that in your hat and think about it for a moment while I read you the following. In ninth grade, he had 50 total grades. That's every trimester grade, final exam grade, and the total average grade. There were 50 altogether of A's, 27 of which were A pluses. There were no others. In 10th grade, 50 again grades of A, 31 of which were A plus. 11th grade, 50 grades again of A, of which 37 were A plus. You see a trend? To date this year, all A's, or excuse me, all A pluses and two A's. Absolutely outstanding. If you want to total it up a little bit, which I did just because it's so astonishing, 195 grades of A out of 200, 141 of which were A plus, 70%. Anybody sitting up here that taught him anything in their classroom pretty much could guarantee he'd get it. And very quickly, and spit it right back out at you, probably in a preferred form that in the way you presented it, and would get an A+. Plus. You can't help but give the kid A+, pluses in every class he's ever taken. He's that serious a student. He's that dedicated a student. His father came to me, summer before last, and he said, I want to show you this. He showed me his phone, and it had a picture on it. He was working in Romania for the summer, because his dad said, you boys need to work, he and his brother. He was on his lunch break in a factory building furniture, and what was he doing? What were you doing, Andy? I don't remember. Higher <laughs> <laughs> level mathematics. Freak out for just a calculus because he wanted to get the hang of it because he didn't want to drop the ball on that. And he wanted to be sure that he did very, very well in mathematics and had it down. This is a kid in the summer who's working during the lunch hour that he has during manual labor, sits down, opens up a math book, probably without the book, and starts doing math. Pages and pages and pages of it. There wasn't just one picture. There was three, four, five, six of all the pages of mathematics he had gone through and was studying. Absolutely phenomenal. He will have completed AP courses and examinations in calculus, BC, European history, German, chemistry, biology, English literature, physics, electricity, magnet, uh, magnetism, 
magneticism, physics, C, mechanics. And so far, he's earned five on every single one of those AP exams. I have absolute confidence. In fact, I would be shocked beyond belief if he didn't earn the five in all eight of them. Necessarily so. He's one of the brightest, most hardworking people I've ever seen in the classroom. Probably everybody sitting here would agree with that. And I'll tell you something else. After 33 years of being at the school, Mr. Agardi, who I know since then, <laughs> would also agree with me, I think. I'll speak for him a little bit. Of all the valedictorians of all the classes of the last 33 years, and there have been some top students, really good. But I don't think any of them come close to Andy in terms of all roundness. Do you remember what he wrote in his, in his application? Do you remember? Because the grades are impressive. They're not just impressive, they're astonishing. Most of us can only dream of such recognition and results. But remember what he said. Another thing I want to focus on is how to become a better person. Andy, A plus, valedictorian of the class of 2022, Andy Hodish.